Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. It has been a rough week of NBA picks for yours truly. However, we, all we can do is keep grinding, and I am back here on a huge 11-game slate of NBA action here on a Wednesday to try to get you back in the win column along with myself here. And we'll start it off with a couple of totals that I have chosen as my best bets tonight with the Celtics and the Raptors leading off that. Now, the Raptors come in as a three-point favorite against the Celtics in this one, but the total of 201.5 I think is a pretty good wager in this one as well. The Raptors are missing Damari Carroll a lot. Now, even though it hasn't hurt them in the standings so far, it has hurt their wing defense a little bit, and it could lead to a little more points tonight for the Boston Celtics as well. And especially because uh, the Boston Celtics as well have not only been scoring the ball relatively well recently, they've also been giving up a lot of points along with that tonight. And that's one of the reasons why I think the over could be a pretty good play here at 201.5. Boston's given up 110 points per game on average in their last five games and 105 overall in their last 10. And these two teams played at the beginning of the season, ended in a pretty high score as well, 113 to 103. Both uh, teams as well have been cashing the over here recently. The over is cashed in five of the last six for the Celtics and four of their last five on the road. Uh, the Raptors have cashed the over at six and two in their last eight games overall and four and one in their last five as at home as well. So I'm going to take the over here at 201 and a half, add it to your NBA picks. Next up is the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Dallas Mavericks tonight. The Mavericks come in as a huge nine point favorite in this one. But once again, I think the total is where we need to look at here at 198 points. Now the Wolves coming off of a back to back game last night, having played in New Orleans and looking like they were going to cash for us at plus five underdogs early in the game. However, uh, Anthony Davis turned it on and the Wolves simply just turned it off and uh, lost the game by about 16 points. Now they come in as a nine-point underdog here, but the total of 198 does seem like another pretty good bet on the over in this one. The Wolves have been pretty reliable, cashing the over on the second half of a back-to-back -back this season. In fact, they are the leading team in doing so this season at 6-1 and one on the year. And uh, even though Dallas has been playing a little better here recently after a small hiccup to start the new year, they've still been giving up some points as well. And the Wolves especially are definitely known for giving up points, especially on the second half of a back-to-back -back uh, Minnesota giving up 105 points per game in their last five games. If you take away their game against the Suns, where Phoenix, of course, can't score against anybody, but they only scored 87 points against Minnesota. Take that away, the Wolves have given up 109 points per game in their last four out of five. So even though the Mavs haven't been setting the world on fire, they did have a nice bounce back game where they cashed the over against the Boston Celtics here recently. And of course, they are giving up at least 112 points in their last two games as well. So I think a higher scoring game could be in order here tonight. 198 may just be a bit too low. I think the total's going in the wrong direction. Take over and add it to your NBA picks. Best of luck to you on those two. That is it for me today in the NBA. I will see you back here for Thursday's short slate tomorrow, but until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.